Hey guys. Um, hey guys. Uh, just a little video here. Um, decided to put some lights on my QR Ladybird um, micro quad. Uh, I got this the other day in the mail and I thought uh, it would be really cool to throw some lights on it. I was flying it around and just to help with orientation. So what you'll need to get, the lights, um, I'll just take that off, the lights if you can see them are these tiny little strip lights right here. And I got mine from banggood.com and the part number is there the SKU number is SKU029 029336 and you get two little lights and the little cellophane wrapper here two of these little strips and they've got tiny wires a positive and a negative which are labeled um, on the strip and uh, the two little wires so I put uh, I used um, Bob Smith Industries extra thick CA glue. This is awesome stuff. It just sticks like crazy um, on the booms. I took the little lights and I just gently sanded them with this sanding pad just to scuff up the back end of them, um, wipe them off, give the glue something to grip to. And then I just put a little bead of glue on the arm here and then um, stuck a light in each spot and ran the wires up and what I did I took all of the um, after I removed the this is after removing the the um, circuit board and controller from the uh, ladybird uh, just un I labeled all of the the motors so I knew which one to plug in um, where when I uh, plugged it back in all the motors plug into these little ports here and then uh, so I unplug the motors move the wires out of the way and there's four screws one at each corner uh, I undid the screws left the rubber dampeners on the arms and uh, took the board out of the way so that I could run the wires under the board um, so what I did I took all the grounds from each one uh, they're very tiny wires so it's pretty tricky but I just um, grouped all the grounds together, twisted them, and then uh, using my, um, I'm using a Weller WES51 soldering station, and I set it uh, really low because it's such fine wires to about 500 degrees, and I'm using a uh, rosin core solder 1.2 millimeter, and I twisted them all together um, and soldered all of the grounds and the positives together. So what I'm going to do now is I've got the board oriented upside down like it was on the micro quad before and right here uh, there's that's the positive from the battery. This is where you plug your battery in. That's the positive and that's the negative. So the positive pole is closer to the outside. The negative is this one here. I'm going to solder the negatives to the negative and the positive to the positive. Make sure your tip is good and clean. I'm using a fine pointed tip. And let's give this a whirl. I'd imagine this would work on any micro quad. I'm just I have the ladybird that's why I'm I think I'll put the wire on that side. So I'm just gonna get a little solder on my tip here. Too much. Take some of that off. Take some more off. It's 
a fine balance between just enough solder and too much. Just a little bit more. There, that looks good. Clean that off. Looks like a pretty good connection. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. So I just want to get the positives. Angled away from the natives if I can there. That. Maybe right there will do. There's no solder overlapping where I don't want it. Take a close look. Looks like that's good. Flip it back over. I've got a battery over here. Fully charged one. Let's give it a whirl and see if they work. And they do. See, I'll shut up the light. Maybe that'll. So there, there's what the little LEDs look like on the back of the QR Ladybird. And then there they are on the front. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to tidy up those wires and I'll put a piece of black tape 
on top of the wires. Turn the light back on. Uh, where's my tweezers? I'll put a piece of black tape so this board goes straight down now. I'll screw it back down. And I'll put a piece of tape um, on those wires just to prevent them from touching the back of the board and shorting anything out uh, just for peace of mind and then I'll get the hot glue and I'll put um, a tiny bead of hot glue at the corner of each one of these lights there and there just to give a little um, added strength to the wires um, at each of those points so I'll just put the board back down I'll screw it down now, um, plug my motors back in because um, I've lab labeled them all. There's the right front, there's the right rear, left rear, left front, and um, these are the wires that you just plug back into the, into the board, into these little ports, and uh, I'll have some lights for night flying now. So just another look with the lights off. Yeah, that'll be kind of, be kind of cool. Anyway, just a little uh, project there I was working on today. I don't know if you can hear the wind and the rain, but again, I can't fly outside. The weather here is terrible. Living near the lake, and you know, we just get constant wind, so my flying days are kind of limited. But it's still early, so anyway, this is a good rainy day project. A little bit uh, tedious, and you need to. Uh, use your patience but um, it's kind of neat when it's done so once again um, these are from these are mini LEDs from uh, banggood.com uh, the SKU number SKU 029336 I think they're two bucks a piece or something like that So. Thanks, guys. Um, we'll see you next time.